Hey everybody, welcome back. If you spent any time with me and my channel, you know that I've always tried to find the best quality product for the best possible price. And today I have found it with the Lensco LWM318C as the wireless lavalier microphone. They sent this to me. They did not tell me what to say. Um, it is a great budget microphone and it's probably amongst the best that I've ever used for the sheer fact that it does not break the bank and it is very, very reasonable. It's under $60 on Amazon right now and this thing sounds great. Now to start out, we're gonna go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way. To me, I just don't care too much for documentation because there's so many downloads and firmware updates and everything that makes a lot of these mute anyways. So. Here it is for your re reading pleasure, but there are some statistics for the hardware of this microphone that they wouldn't be able to change. So I'll put that up on the screen. So get prepared to pause the screen so I don't bore you with numbers for too long. And here we go. <laughs> so other things that this thing comes with, of course, are the transmitter and the receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off of here. And this is an adapter for the Insta360-1R. But here is the actual microphone itself. And it looks like a little bullet. Looks more like a suppository, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. All right, fine. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look, okay, whatever, dude. But uh, they can't. I just can't, okay. Anyways, what I love about these mic <coughs> Okay, so what I love about these microphones is it's got this little magnetic clip on it that goes just like that. Now, you don't want to do that while you're live or you're recording and everything's hot because you're going to hear these little springs and this little mechanism right here make a ringing or clacking sound. So, have a little bit of sense when you try to you know reattach these but one of the coolest things about this is and we, and we all run into this is these wireless microphones is you only have a certain place that you can plug it in where it doesn't look stupid and you know whether it be on your collar or if you're wearing a different type of shirt you can clip it on there like that but this one being magnetic now you can just put it underneath your shirt and then clip it to the outside like that and you're golden now of course this is the receiver but this goes back on the camera and you can easily just pop it on and off like that. The transmitter itself has the microphone up here and it's also got a line in for a lavalier microphone. So you can lav this mic or you can use the built-in wireless microphone, which is what we're primarily focusing on today. Again, it's got the magnetic clip on it and you just place it on wherever you want it to be placed and further, closer, whatever, and then, you know, like I said, don't start recording until you've got it fastened and in place. Like any other thing magnetic, it can come off if you hit it hard enough. And so they gave you <laughs> lanyard. Hmm? And with this lanyard, it goes to the clip. And there's a little hole for the actual clip. So you put this through the little hole and now you've been able to I don't know what to say. So you are wearing this on the outside of your shirt and it gets bumped off. You don't realize it. At least the lanyard's gonna catch your little magnetic clip. Now it also came with two charging cables and it's USB-A to micro USB. It comes with this TRRS for your computer PC needs or anything that requires TRRS like certain cell phones. You have a little magnetic piece of metal here that's got an adhesive on the back of it. So you can stick this somewhere and then apply your microphone anywhere. So they gave you some more options for mounting capabilities. They gave you another lavalier microphone. All right, so that's a really cool thing and it's even branded with the Lensco. So it's not just your generic, okay, they found a microphone and didn't, you know, from somebody else and you just threw it in the package. No, they actually took a little bit of care with this. So I haven't heard this before. Before we leave today, we'll do a very, very quick audio test on just using the microphone with the lavalier. 
Now it also comes with a wind muff. And I've not seen a wind muff like this before, but I was wondering how they were going to attach one because this thing is very smooth and round and you just, you don't even have to put it on all the way and it's very snug. It just slides right on and it comes off a lot harder than it is to put on. So yeah, see there, so I'm, I pulled on it and it came off, but if you push on the edges of it, it just slides right over the top and you're good to go as a having a wind muff for, you know, very windy situations. And the last thing that's in here are the uh, clips for the lavalier microphone. So you've got a foam muff for it and you also have a clip so you can clip the lav wherever you need to place that microphone. And it comes with this little bag here that you can put all of your accessories in and keep in one neat, tidy place. Typically, when you hear bad audio on any YouTube video, you click off pretty quickly because audio is more important than the actual video. The video quality can suffer just a little bit, and a lot of times photographers or videographers go, well, I'm filming with a potato. That's just telling you that they're not really too concerned about the quality, but their audio is always going to be spot on because they know you won't watch it if it's not good. Now, they do a lot of comparison videos of this microphone against this microphone. Well, that's not what we're doing today because a lot of times also when you're watching YouTube videos, if it's not a comparison video or a tech review, then you're listening for that quality and if you go, if it's good enough, then you don't turn it off. This is one of those situations where it doesn't need to be compared with other microphones because it stands on its own two legs very well. Now, I just said we're not gonna do a comparison against two separate types of microphones, but we are going to compare internal audio versus this microphone on five different cameras. So the first camera that we're gonna be using, as you can see here, is the Insta360 ONE R with the one inch Leica lens. I love vlogging with this, it's very light. And as you can tell, the microphone is already set and placed on top of it. So that will be our first audio comparison of the internal audio, which we know Insta360 is not the best at, to adding this audio. This is the Insta360 ONE R with the one inch Leica lens. I love vlogging with this, but the audio suffers a little bit in the Insta360 ONE R, and this is it without any audio enhancements. This is straight out of camera. This is the audio going into the Insta360 ONE R with the one inch Leica lens. I love walking with this. This is so light. I could literally hold this thing with one arm all day long. Um, no problem at all and i know that it's always going to have the field of view that's required because you can change all of that in edit and make the background just as wide as you need it to now the second camera that we're going to be using is the canon eos r and it's already got pretty decent in camera audio but this is going to make it a lot better hey this is the audio coming straight out of camera on the canon eos r this can be a pretty heavy vlogging kit but all in all, the image quality should be a lot better than the other cameras, but it comes at a cost because my shoulders are getting tired already. Now this is the Lensco microphone on top of the Canon EOS R, and it is so much nicer to be able to add something so light to something that is already heavy because like I said, the Canon EOS R with the switch pod is a heavy beast and it requires a lot of effort to try to maintain that steady you know, point of view. And the third camera we're going to be using is the GoPro Hero 9. And it's already got great internal audio, but we're going to be using the media mod on it and then plug the microphone into it and compare the audio of the GoPro by itself and the Lensco wireless lavalier mic. I've got the GoPro Hero 9 out right now with the media mod. And this is without the microphone. This is the audio going straight into the media mod. And now this is the audio with the Lensco. And again, I have it attached here on my shirt. And then the, having the ability to take the receiver and magnetize it to the clip that's on the side of the media mod. Just so convenient. Again, very light, no trouble at all. The fourth one is gonna be a very similar audio quality comparison and that is going to be with the GoPro Hero 10, also with the lens mod. And here I have the GoPro Hero 10 with the media mod. No external devices are being used. This is straight audio, straight out of camera, no modifications whatsoever. And now this is the audio with the Lensco microphone and the microphone is attached here on my shirt. And I'm sure that the GoPro sounded a little better to you, 
but when you're trying to match up audio amongst different devices, this will still be very sufficient for me. And for our final comparison, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite cameras to shoot B-roll and anything that I don't have to carry my big cameras around with, and that is the Sony ZV-1. Now this is the Sony ZV-1, and the audio usually sounds pretty good out of the Sony ZV-1 without any modifications, but like I said before, having the same sort of audio when you're using multiple video devices will help marry up your overall project. So I like having that. So now let's hear this with the Lensco microphone. And now we have the Sony ZV-1 and the Lensco microphone being used on top of it. And I like the way that it all looks together because even the cord itself matches the same exact color of the input ports on the Sony. So it's like it was made for it. So this could be a pretty nice little vlogging kit too with this microphone. Of course, it's another day. It didn't just stop raining instantly and become sunny. I ran out of time yesterday, so I'm trying to finish up the video, but you thought I forgot about it. This is the Sony ZV-1 with the lavalier mic going into this, and I think I found my favorite vlogging setup of all time. And if any of you would like to see a video of five comparisons of the five vlogging setups that I've used for this video, then please let me know down in the comments below. So I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I hope you got something out of this. If you do purchase this, please use my affiliate link down below. I do gain a little kickback at no extra cost to you. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. We're trying to make the channel grow. I started doing this full time back in June and you can obviously tell that the channel started moving forward much faster and 2022 is going to be a great year for us. Happy New Year. and. Great to have you here with me, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.